Welcome back to my channel's loves. I'm Roshana and today I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved these two blonde streaks on this hair from Summer Hair. Everything about this hair will be in the description box down below. Make sure you guys go check out Summer Hair. Shout out to them for sponsoring this video. And I'm so excited to just show you guys, first of all, the length. This hair is 26 inches, you guys. Three bundles of 26 inch and a 20 inch frontal. And I can't wait to show you guys more, so let's get into the video. So this is what it's going to look like when you first receive the hair. It's just going to come in this box. And it's going to say 100% virgin human hair. And then it's going to say sunbur. And on the side, it also says sunbur. The box is super cute. And then on the back, it has sunbur hair care. So they have tips for washing your hair, etc., which I feel is super helpful. So now let's get into the bundles. These are three bundles, body weight, may I just say, okay, of 26 inches, guys. It's absolutely flawless. The hair feels so soft. You can just tell by looking at it. The texture is amazing. And it's 26 inches, you guys. I absolutely fell in love with this when I received it. Look at that. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So now I'm going to show you guys what the wet look like so you guys can get a feel of how thick the hair is. And the hair, the hair is pretty thick for 26 inches, I must say. So now moving on to the front. So as you guys can see, it's absolutely gorgeous and it is pre-plugged to the gods. You guys will get to see that a little later. But the frontal is 20 inches. Look how transparent that lace is, first of all. And it's also body wave. It's absolutely gorgeous. The texture is absolutely amazing. But let's get into this pre-plug. Oh my god. I absolutely love Sunbird hair for their pre-plug frontals. I'm not even joking. This is my third hair that I received from Sunbird hair. And I absolutely love their frontals. And then it also comes with some lashes. So let's get into how I created the blonde streaks. So as you guys can see, the wig is already made. I constructed it. And now I'm going to use my bleach. And then I'm also going to use a 40 developer. You can use whatever developer you want. My color came out as a more like a honey blonde than a blonde so you guys can always you know tone it if you want but I like the color that it came out with because it matches my skin complexion so guys as you guys can see I'm using the cream developer and I'm putting it all over the bleach now you can either do this two ways you can do it like me where you have a lot of developers so you make it kind of like a more watery substance or you can make it thicker so it can just hold on to the hair but I don't really like that option because I feel like it takes longer to bleach and this is kind of something that shouldn't take too long because you're only doing the two front you feel me so now I'm just parting the hair and this part you want to take your time on because you want to make sure that you're getting exactly where you want to be bleached because even though you can re-dye it you can't unbleach it so you're going to be losing quality of the hair and all that so you want to make sure that you don't bleach any part of the hair that you don't want bleached So now that I have my parts that I want to be bleached, I'm just going to section them off with a rubber band and I'm going to put the rest of the hair back so that I don't mix up any hair with, you know, unwanted hair that I don't want to bleach, etc. So now that I have my two pieces section off, I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of the hair in a ponytail because I do not want to get any bleach on them at all. Like I want this part to be untouched. So the only way to prevent that is to make sure it's completely out of the way. So I recommend putting it in a ponytail like I did. So now you just want to remove the rubber band on the section that you are working on. And then this is just pretty self-explanatory from here. I'm just going to be applying the bleach. Um, I'm not applying too much at a time. I want to start off with just the right amount because you don't want to, you know, do too much damage. I want to make sure I'm getting every strand of hair as well. So I would recommend taking your time with this just because you are doing only a little piece of the hair. So you can definitely take your time on it. Unlike when you're bleaching a whole head of hair and you just want to hurry up.
So now moving on to the other side, I'm just going to repeat the same steps. And guys, you just want to make sure that you're flipping the hair over, okay? Because as you guys can see, I'm applying the bleach on the top of the hair. But once I flip it over, there's going to be absolutely no bleach on the other side. And you don't want half of your hair... You don't want half of the section that you want to be bleached, half bleached, if that makes sense. You want the whole thing to be bleached. So make sure you guys are lifting it up and then just applying bleach to the back of it. You want to make sure every piece of hair has bleach. See? That whole side has absolutely no bleach and you want to prevent that. So it's just a very important step that you guys should not forget. So now just taking some aluminum foil, I'm just going to wrap the pieces that I just bleached into them and then I'm going to let it sit for maybe about 30-40 minutes. Um, you can keep on checking on it just in case you want the color to be brighter, you know, it depends on all what you like. I was fine with the color that it came out with so I washed it out. And then as you guys can see, now it always gets a little brighter once you flat iron it and really just get it all the way ready. So it did come out a little bit brighter than this. But as you guys can see, this is how it came out. So now I'm just going to take the flat iron and I'm just going to straighten the hair. So now that I'm done with the front, I can now take out the ponytail so you guys can get a better feel of how the hair is going to look when I put it on. So now it's time to style the hair using my Maximum Shine and Wave Mousse. I'm just going to be applying this mostly on the front. I just want to make sure I prep the hair as much as possible for when I go to install it. It will just be less work that I have to do. So last but not least, I'm just going in with my curling wand and I'm just going to lay down the front and any of the parts that I feel that are necessary. And guys, that is the final step. After this, you're good to go and just install it into your head and this is how the hair came out. Even though it was a body wave, I did end up straightening it for the purpose of this video. I felt that it looked a little more natural when I straightened it. And guys, I'm absolutely in love with this look. The color that it came out was like a honey brown, maybe a honey blonde. And it absolutely complements my complexion. So I absolutely love it. Look how long the hair is. I absolutely love this look. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys go check out Sunbird Hair. I'm going to have everything about them down below. As well as the direct link to the frontal and bundle set that I got. I love if you watch till the end. And I will see you guys in my next video.